What's up everybody, a spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on No Man's Sky. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we were kind of experimenting with some base building and trying to get a kind of an idea of how we could go about building some different things in different shapes and so on and whatnot. To some pretty decent results, actually. Um, so... I went ahead and harvested my Mordite here, because I wanted to see how much we get, and I got 250 and 37. Now, I don't think I had any on me when I first did this, so that should give us a pretty accurate estimate on how much we actually get per run. So that's pretty good. I like it. Um, let me go ahead and dump it while I'm thinking about it, before I forget. Still have not learned. I, I might go back and repaint these at some point. I'm not sure yet. Um, ooh, we have a thousand Mordite. That equals a lot of moolah. Uh, for now, I'm just going to dump that in there because I don't want to mess with it. Our other uh, biodome was full of essentially glass. And isn't that just a beautiful sight? It's just gorgeous. Um, so let's go ahead and harvest this stuff, and we're going to replant in, uh, whatchamacallit, the few areas that we didn't have any more Chorizogen left over to plant. So there's a couple vacant spots right there. Now, um, it was actually asked in the comments of the last episode if you could basically double up and put a tray or hydroponic tray, like, in here to do multiples and I actually experimented with it a little bit and as you can see I can build this one at least but it doesn't snap you don't you see there's no red or green arrows there's no snapping point like when you have a plant um, that you can snap to and same with the standing planter there's no um, there's no way to, to put that in there now one interesting thing it says available to build two but I don't have any of that on my inventory, so I don't know where it's getting two from, unless that's just the total amount to let me build or something. I'm not really sure. Um, Alright, so for Chrysogen we have Thaumium and Carbon, and obviously we have enough Chrysogen because we just harvested a bunch of it. Uh, that apparently only translates to two plants. So, not a bunch of it. Oh no! Are they backwards? They're backwards, it looks like. Yeah, let me fix that. That's gonna bother me. Uh, okay, that one's right. And there we go. Okay. Yeah, that just bothers me if things aren't aligned. It's just one of those things that it's, it's a little thing, but it's a big thing. <laughs> Um, and also, I played around with the upstairs here a little bit as well to make it a little bit more, I don't know, just defined. Like we have a room over here for Captain Ficklemane, and a room over here for Cadet Aim. Um, this was kind of a byproduct of not knowing where else to go with the doors. Um, like I didn't really have a, anything to put there. So I just kind of left it. Um, and then we've got these guys over here. I actually did not realize that I built two of these. I didn't even know I had the material to build two of these, but that's perfect. Um, so I kind of moved uh, the platform here, as you will obviously notice from the last episode, because over here we can actually place the uh, cuboid rooms which will allow us to kind of connect the dots type of thing, hopefully, uh, if all goes well. So that's kind of the next thing on the agenda here. Um, now that's interesting. Hold on. If I remove that... Okay, so the floor is within the cuboid room. Ah, okay. That's unexpected. Um, so how do I want to do this? I do not know. That is a very good question. Um, let's see, if I put a cuboid room here, can I do the stairs here? No. I've tried that before. The stairs do not like going outside. 
Okay, how about infrastructure ramps? Can I do any ramps or anything? I'm still playing around with exactly how to do um, some of the balconies and stuff. But I just like the idea of being open and like walking out and then going somewhere else and walking into another room. I tell you what, for now we're going to keep it kind of basic. Um, so what I'm going to do, especially since I know I can make two of those doors, I really did not know that. For now I'm going to put these two here. Okay. Um, I'm going to put one of these here so that I have something to connect to. And we're going to try... Which way do I want to go? I don't really want... Oh, you could... That's interesting. Didn't even think about that. Hmm. That's actually an interesting idea. I hadn't really thought about doing it that way. Coming off of that and then I could do another balcony. For now... We're just gonna go... Hmm... Ooh, I could do that. But then that's kind of... If I put this here, can I put a biodome here? Or will that run in... I think that's running into... Oh no, I don't have enough stuff! Okay, so before we write that off completely, let me go get some more stuff. Okay, so I got everything that I need, I think, for a biodome, so this should let us know whether I can even place this here. And like I said, a lot of the reason I enjoy invalid position... Okay, so why is that an invalid position, though, is what I want to know. Is it intersecting or is it overlapping the boundaries? It must be intersecting the base of that other biodome. Okay, so I tell you what we're going to do. Actually, you know what? Hmm. I've got a couple other crazy ideas here. No, I don't want to do that. Um, infrastructure. Infrastructure, there we go. Can I attach any of these type things to the sides? It does not appear so. These are, they look restricted to the ground and stuff. Like, I can't even attach them to the platforms, I don't think. Um, I was just able to do that when they were overlapping the ground. Okay, so that's out. I was trying to find some way to do a ramp, basically. Um, but that does not seem to be much of an option. So I tell you what, let's move over this way. Get a different view going on here. And... St st structure? Yeah, it is structure. Okay. Curved. Like that. Ow. I don't really want to go around behind because then I can't see it. So let's put that there. And then let's see... I can put a biodome here. Alright, that works. Uh, let me go through and change the color. Because these two are actually going to stay there. The other ones I'm not as worried about. Um, color. That's going to be gone in a second, but I'll color it just because. And why not? Color everything! Okay, so now what we're going to try. Just to kind of do some fancy schmancy building. Is we're going to break that. Okay. Hence the method to my madness kind of thing. There is a reason for all this stuff. Ooh, I can just stand in here and do it. That works. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Room parts. Where's room parts? There we go. So we're going to snap that there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the cuboid rooms because our flooring is actually going to be these ramps from the infrastructure tab platform. There we go. Now... Oh, I didn't... No! Nope. Crud. Oh, at least it's letting me reattach it. That works. Um, now the only thing is I don't think I can attach... I can't do these cool pylon things under there, can I? I wonder, though, if I put... 
a cube room here and then put one of these underneath and then delete it. It does not snap up to the top. Dagnabbit. Okay. Hmm. Well, all right, hold on. Hold on. I'm still I'm still finagling. I'm not done. Wait, why won't it let me snap to that one right there? I want that wall. Ah, whatever. All right, so if we snap that there, can I do one here and can I snap off of that? No. Okay, it has to be snapped underneath. So that's something I probably would have had to have done beforehand, it looks like. Well, actually, hold up a minute. I can do that. So let's do that. And then here. And then maybe one. If I'm going to do both. Let's just try one. And then remove that. Okay, we're getting... I'm, I'm having to finagle it because I know that this is not something the game really wants you to do. But I don't care. I think it looks cooler this way. So it's totally worth it. Uh, door. 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 Perfect. Now let's double check this up here. Oh! I believe that's working fine. Because it looks like that's still all part of the platform. Okay, cool. Perfect. Um, now, I can never remember what the fastest way to the infrastructure tab is. I really need to stop falling. Okay, so I should be able... Why I am not able, I do not know. Because I was able to before. I don't know why I can't snap that there. Uh, oh, that's right, you have to do the bottom first, and then snap it to that. Come on, stop being so sensitive. Right there. Nope. Right. Stop it. There. Yeesh. These are not friendly. Oh, jeez, alright. Now, can I just... There we go. I can build off of that. And... Oh, I don't have enough carbon now, actually. That won't do. Nope. This one. Damn it. Alright, why aren't you... It turns green for like half a second. I don't have time to actually agree to put it there. Come on. Right there. You have an arrow there. Just snap to it already, Dagnabbit. I wonder if it's because of the door. I wonder if that door's in the way. I hope not, because that kind of messes with my plans. Because it's not selecting that at all. It's not even giving me a red zone there. I wonder if I remove you. How about you? Will you do it now? Come on. I know you'll do it now. Come on. Dang, nabbit. It's so sensitive. So touchy. I think it's because you're kind of trying to do something the game doesn't want you to do. Or isn't built to do, rather. Is probably why. Like, it, it's snapping over here under the door. It's like, why? That doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. All right. I'm gonna finagle. I'm gonna finagle with this until I get it right, because I know it'll do it. It did it just a second ago, but now I can't. There we go. All right. Yeesh. Sorry about that. Really did not mean for that to take so long. All right. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Now let's make sure we can put this back. Parts. Structure. That goes there, and... Perfect! I love it. Okay. So that's kind of cool. I know that was a lot of work and it doesn't really do anything, uh, but I personally am just a fan of having things a little bit... What happened here? What happened to my wall? Eh, whatever. I'm going to repurpose this in a minute anyway. Um, 
So the last bit... I don't know if this is going to work or not, now that I got all that to work. But we're taking that out, right? I hope. Maybe. And... This? Let's take the door? Snap that. Okay. And then put one of these guys down. Get rid of the cuboid room. Alright, it's working. It's getting there. I mean, technically you could leave it that way, but that's no fun. Um, before I do that, let's do the floor. Oh, that's paving. I want platform. Platform. There we go. This does not look color corrected. Oh, I guess it is. Must be the lighting. Okay. Um, and real quick... Before I run out of... Is that the right... Yeah, I guess it is the right color. Okay, whatever. Alright, so that works. So the next... Oh, that's kind of cool. That could lead me out onto a cliff. Though, I believe that's really, really close to the barrier, isn't it? I don't even see the barrier at this point over here. We're, we're, we gotta be pretty close to the boundary over here. Uh, but that's not actually what I wanted. What I wanted was under the regular structure tab you can do this foundation thing, which we did in the last episode. And it's basically a circular foundation for these types of rooms and I did not even know that was a thing. So you can do that and give it some stabilized look. So let's take a peek at what this actually looks like. So that's kind of cool. I'm, I'm kind of happy about that, only because it just gives it a little bit of an interesting kind of look. Like everything's not just connected via uh, corridors and things. You've actually got kind of a situation like this going on, which is kind of cool. And I've even thought about changing this up to where... Um, even if it has a ladder in this main hall here, I have thought about taking this door out and having it connect in a different area. Um, but let me finagle with a few things. I've got a couple ideas in mind that I want to play around with and see what we come up with. Okay, so I am back, but I'm up here at the anomaly type station because I kind of forgot about it. But I went to make a run to the station and figure, what the heck, let's go see, check in with Polo and see what he has to say. So, some I know, some I don't. Transmit species data. Alien colonists encountered level 8 or more. We can do that. Polo does not seem much interested in the new species genetic data, but instead shares at length at my images of each one. Okay, rebound grenades. Customized explosive grenades are fired on a revolving axis. User will observe unpredictable placement of un of ensuing blast zones. Well, that doesn't help me, Polo. Friggin' Polo. And not is probably gonna give me the same radioactive thing again. If I request aid. Let's see. Useless. You're all useless. <laughs> I don't want to hear it, Polo. Alright, so I'm going to make a run to the station, sell some stuff. Um, and then... I'm going to head back to the base. Or rather, warp back to the base. And show you guys some of the progress that I made before we probably end up wrapping this episode up. Because I don't think... Well, maybe by the time I get back, I'll have grown some more Chorizogen. I ran out of Chorizogen. Uh, so I kind of need to wait a minute, basically, and I've already put... Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm already kind of low on time for recording this episode, in terms of how much I have to record. Um, so, yeah, we're going to work back after I sell some stuff, and then see how our plants are doing, and if they're progressing, then I'll make some more progress. If not, we'll probably just wrap things up. 
Alrighty, so as it happens, the Chrysogen plants did grow again, so this is what I've been working on, uh, which is glassifying. Yes, that's a real word. Look it up. Please don't. Um, the, actually, hold up. This was a wall before. Just like uh, all of these, they usually have to have a wall, so they kind of make their own, even if it's a glass room. I don't know what happened with this guy, but there's no wall there, which is kind of cool. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I would need, ooh, oh wait, 12 glass? So I don't think I'll have enough for that. I might, I don't know, I don't think so. No, I think I did my math on one glass per cube room. That's four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so that's close. All right, so we should be able to do... And I could have done windows as well. Where's the cuboid rooms? They have... Uh, windows that you can do which are pretty open but I like that the glass rooms actually are all the way around like the ceiling and everything is glass as well so that's kind of what where my my head was at so we get rid of these two and I place these like so and then we replace the floor like so a boom oh and by the way I shouldn't have probably made all this glass because one thing I found is when you're looking at the uh, I was out I was already on the tab when it says available to um, it can actually make what you need for example it says available to but it says I have no car right sheets so what will happen if I take this out if I then place this it'll just make what I need for that to work so yeah, I don't act you don't actually have to um, build all the stuff as long as you have the resources available. And I hope I'm not a hundred percent sure. Okay, I can't build anymore. I hope that uh, when I'm losing these floors and stuff, it's actually um, I hope it's actually giving me the resources back. I don't really know that it is. I never really paid much attention to it. But yeah, that's kind of the design I wanted to go with, was make it all glass, which I thought would be a cool touch. It looks like our ship is actually, for once, not inside the building when we warp back. So yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that a lot. Now, in terms of aesthetics, right, like this is a lot better. You can, you can look through and everything's all glass. In theory, though, I suppose I could go along and put these curved roof caps on them just to give it a rounded look. My only problem with that is, as you can see, there's no corner glass roof things, um, which is kind of irritating. There's like a, a roof cap, right? But out of all this, like, I have no... I guess you could do... like. Hey, turn. Why won't you rotate? Rotate around. Don't go that way. Go. I want you to go the other way. Yes, I know. Well, that's interesting. It actually... There. I want you to do that. Huh. Seems to kind of have a little bit of a mind of its own. So, if I could get them all to do this, then I guess you could do another single room and it would just have a curved edge. It wouldn't be fully rounded. But, you know, to each their own and, and we'll figure it out. We'll experiment. One really cool thing that I do like about the building mechanic to this game is the fact that you can remove and replace things really quickly. Um... You know, like, you can take something out and then just put it right back or something, and it doesn't, like, break the whole build. As opposed to something like Space Engineers, where if you pull the the wrong block out, it'll kind of drop the whole thing. Um, or even, even some, some to some extent, like Minecraft, will have the same kind of thing happen, but... Overall, I think it's, uh, I think it's coming along. I think we're doing some fun stuff. 
Um, I do think I want to change. Maybe what I'll do. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Can I actually put. Here, we'll use an example of what I was just talking about with the whole re uh, remove and replace thing. If I remove that, I don't think I can actually attach a cube room to this, so I need some kind of tunnel room. What I'd really like to do, though... Um, oh, no, that's interesting. It would let me put a viewing room there? That's weird. What I'd really like to do is one of these. Um, to continue the whole glass look. Uh, but unfortunately, I would need yet some more Chryzogen, so you can see how quickly we're moving through some of this stuff. Um, for now, we're just going to place the, um, the tunnel back. I am curious about this down here, though. Can I do a cube room here? Uh, let me try something a little different, actually. Let's try and do like this, and then go from this angle. See if that works. Because from here it'll let me snap that, but maybe... Okay, it doesn't let me connect to the other room. That's what I was trying... So, for these rounded type rooms, you're basically stuck with the corridor, which isn't terrible. Um... I'd like to do both of these in a glass corridor. The only thing with doing them both this way is I'm basically going to be looking at the bottom of the upper one. So I don't really know if I want to do that or not. I mean, I kind of do, but I don't know if it would really work the way I wanted it to. Um, so, yeah. We're getting places, though. It's coming along. I think it's kind of cool. Um, I especially like, whether we do the roof caps or not, I really like the, uh, the change in dynamics of having just this big glass room up here. Uh, one thing I have thought about doing, though, is dividing the room a little bit. Um, I mean, the glass kind of makes it feel open, so I wouldn't, I'm not sure I want to divide it up, like, crazy too much. But... I could do something... Ooh, and I tried. I tried, because I really wanted to do this, where you have window walls inside, so it keeps the whole glass thing, and you can still see, and then you just have doorways. It won't let you. Uh, glass is apparently only for the outside uh, exterior walls, and then you have inner walls. So, oh well. Uh, what I might do, though, is something like this over here, just to give us some, some dynamic you know, kind of different looks. You've got the glass here, and then this kind of section. Um, and then you still have your, your view here, which is kind of cool. And I threw a couple of little just experimenting with some decor stuff uh, right there. Um, you know what, though? I don't really know about this. I may not... Unless I did something like this and just keep these two where they are. Because I thought about as I divide this up or something, it, it could just get a lot smaller. And I don't know if I really want to do that or not. Because after a while, since we can't do the window walls, you know, if you do something like this... I mean, this is cool. It looks cool and all. But it does start dividing the room up a bit to where now it's not this big open glass area, which is kind of what I wanted. Um, and I'm going to have to take these out anyway uh, for removing these last two cuboid rooms. But that's something I've thought about. Didn't mean to delete him. Um, yeah, I know. But that's something I've thought about, is, is subdividing the room a little bit so that there's a little bit more definition in the room. Uh, this almost looks like you could walk out. Nope, okay. Um, and actually, what does it take to make a, a cube window? 
What do I need for that? Just one and ten heridium. I may... Gosh, this Mordite stuff grows so fast. If I was really trying to farm money, it wouldn't be that hard, actually. I may put a window out here, too. Um, so you have a view out of the edge. I just really like glass uh, bases. Particularly because I think in real life, it's very difficult to have glass structures because of the integrity of glass. Like, we don't... I mean, we... Why the heck is that open? Uh, I mean, we do have things like bulletproof glass and plexiglass and that kind of thing that are sturdier, but still, if you go and try and build, like, a submarine out of them and then you deal with a lot of pressure, it's, it's very difficult to keep something like that intact. I guess it was just a glitch. Um... So, you know, you, you turn to sci-fi games and things like that because of the fantasy of what if, you know, what, wouldn't it be cool if you could do this? So when I get into games like Subnautica, where you're underwater especially, which is very difficult, I mean, it's, tell any, like, nautical engineer, hey, I want a submarine where the whole top half is made out of glass. And I imagine they're just going to stare at you and kind of laugh. Because the idea... I mean, that's what made, like, the, the old show Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea such an interesting idea, was the whole front of the sub was a glass viewing area, kind of like this. You know, you could, you could like, look out. Um, so with that in mind, when it comes to Subnautica and No Man's Sky and basically any kind of base-building game where real integrity of the structure is not a problem, I, th I like to make glass everywhere, because I just think it looks cool to... Be like, I'm safe, I'm not freezing, I'm inside my little gnome area, and uh, I can still see everything. I just really like that design idea. Uh, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think we're going to wrap things up here for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!